Uh, nice to get the bodies moving this morning. Now, maybe dance isn't your thing. Cricket is more of what you're interested in. Well, this weekend, of course, the Cape Town Sixers Cricket and Cultural Festival descends on the Mother City. An opportunity to soak up those last few days of summer, yes, but also spend time with cricketing greats like Dalen Oliver, <laughs> like Merrick Pringle, former fast bowler, and I'm going to say troublemaker, rebel rouser amongst the Protea squad. Merrick, awesome to have you here. Dalen Oliver emceeing the event. Yes. Great to have you here, gents. Merrick. Thank you so much for, for coming through this uh, on this early, early start, but um, a great opportunity to push the culture of cricket and in a different format. Talk to me about Sixers cricket. Why is this so explosive? Why is it so good to watch? I think it's, it's different, obviously, to the normal format that everybody goes to. You can't, you can't get, it's, it's an opportunity for the, for the public to get close to the legends of the Alan Donalds we've got in our side, I might say, and Robert <laughs> Peterson, the Clanfield. So there are a couple of legends here and a couple of former players and current players that are going to be there today. So it's, it's nice for them to get a bit closer to uh, the likes of the, the guys I've just mentioned. This close. Just, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand why you got all dressed up this morning. Normally yeah, he's a really. slob, man. Normally he's a slob. So you're going to be emceeing. Does it not make you nervous to hear names like Alan Donald? Are you going to face a ball? Dude, two, this, is, this, this is childhood dreams. I mean, just sitting next to Mr. Pingle, you know, <laughs> while all going up. But also facing Alan Donald, it's all about intimidation tactics, um, getting my white um, paint lined up so that I know how to go about chirping him with Medic as well. I've got some Zulu chirps lined up because I know that he's quite fluent. So, you know, just getting the basics in order. But like I say, um, for, the, for the people attending and for the players who will be there, about 650 local amateur cricketers just to mix with the legends of SA cricket is an amazing affair, man. Well, that's planting a seed that could see a future Protea being born. We love the shorter format of the game. Obviously, the Protea is going to be doing battle um, in the T20 yes. World Champs. How do you think you would have fared in the T20? Do you think that's something that you would have taken to? Financially, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Play for one um, year and you retire. Yeah, I, I like the shorter <laughs> format of the game. And, well, obviously, I like the longer format as well. It's totally different. But yes, I would love to have played T20 in, the, in this era. And uh, yeah, you know, 10 years earlier, we, we would have been involved with it. So yeah, looking forward to it. The shorter game format is, it brings people to the game and the camaraderie is brilliant, and it's like a party festival type of yeah. thing. Yeah, uh, and they don't do it any better than they do it in India when they sell out just about every stadium. How do you think the Proteas are going to fare? Do we have the right team? Um, yeah, I think they've got the combination right now. I just believe that they 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 must pick. You know, six of the batters, the top six must be batters, which includes your your wicketkeeper, and then uh, five bowlers. If they can do that, I think South Africa's got a very very strong side. Um, we know what uh, that we have have to have certain systems put into place. Um, I hope that doesn't interfere, to interfere too much. And, uh, you know, we, we went to India, beat them in India, came to South Africa, beat England, and we just shuffled around against Australia. Uh, didn't do too well because of the shuffling around, but Three I think we were well prepared. Jitters, yeah. Yeah. Um, Dalen, one last thought. Why yeah. should people get out to our Cape Town Sixers this weekend? Uh, dude, it's <laughs> the most exciting um, Sixers festival happening in Cape Town, South Africa, in the world at the moment. I'm throwing it out there. Um, you're going to have so much banter from your corporate leagues to your social leagues, those bullies just lining up with all their friends who've been playing for years and years. Some who went to school with Medic or with Alan. <laughs> and then you have young development leagues as well. And then on Sunday, we've got an amazing concert, Bangor Groove, Jimmy Nevis, oh, The cool, Kiffness, man. Rory Elliott, just to close things off, heading into the public holiday. And come pop around, man, bring the family down. There's a food village area with cuisines from cricket um, nations etc so it's definitely one of the events to be at exciting times you had me on Merrick man you had me on yeah. Merrick yeah his, his scarlet green eyes just looking at me oh stop it it's breakfast TV man uh, gentlemen thank you so much for joining us and good luck and enjoy it I know the fans really appreciate the service that you are doing for them as well so thank you so much cheers man thank you awesome to have the lads joining us on a very sports inspired Friday morning but still lots coming your way on your feel good breakfast show guys what is coming up next